welcome to my channel. Um, if you've never been here before, my name is Joshi and I do videos every single day, sometimes twice a day, and this is actually video number two for today. I did a live uh, vlog earlier. But anyway, um, if you like videos like this, uh, hit the subscribe button, and if you want me to bug you every single day, then hit that little bell so you are notified of all my videos. So anyway, let's get into it. I am extremely excited about this video right now and this is a um unboxing well it's out of the box now but this is a reveal for you guys and this is a reveal of three bags i just recently purchased from the uh, long shop store in chicago the fashion outlets um there and okay so if you guys watched my live that i did earlier you know that the box is, well, you don't really know, but I talked about it, I think. The box was like giant, okay? The box was like so big. It was, it looked like the box had been through hell and back, and it literally is like three hours away, Chicago, from my house. So I don't know what happened to that box, but it was beat up. But thankfully, the contents inside are completely fine. So what I did is I had my hubby take the bags out and put them down here in my studio. And they're sitting here in front of me and I'm dying to get in there and look at them because I'm not peeked or anything. This is like completely no, there was no peeking, nothing. This is all a surprise for you guys and a surprise for me. And I'm super, super excited about it all. And I hope you guys enjoy this. So I um, clearly have a bit of a long shop addiction and I wanted to add a couple things to my collection that I don't have anything of like this. For example, this was the bag I used earlier today. So it's back up here on the shelf because I took everything out of it. And I'm actually gonna use one of these bags tomorrow that I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Okay, so let's talk about um, the Chicago store really quick again. I got in the box, I got two cards right here. One just has um, my receipt inside there. And then the other one, um, jam for Joshie Michael. It's really cute how they do it. So yeah, it's from the Chicago Fashion Outlets um, store there. And Jose was uh, my essay. Again, of course, um, he'll be my essay forever probably, as long as he's there, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, he uh, messaged me all kinds of pictures, emailed me stuff, and spent a lot of time with me, a couple of days actually, trying to figure out which ones I wanted and um, figure out, I don't know what's going on with the camera. I feel like the light's doing something weird. Anyway, we had a lot of fun chatting back and forth, getting pictures, kind of figuring things out, getting measurements and you know, stuff like that. Cause I really wanna, I like to think about stuff for a couple days. I don't like to just, like I know if I like something, okay, but then I wanna kind of really think about it for a couple days and make a decision, you know, instead of just right there really quick. I kind of want to wait a couple days, especially because this purchase was, it was really extensive. And one of the bags in this haul that I'm going to show you, reveal, whatever, is the most extensive bag out of my entire bag collection. Okay, mind you, I had like 200 bags. And one of these bags is a long, that's, well, they're all long shop, but the long shop is actually my most expensive bag I'll have in my entire collection as far as retail price goes. Okay. Um, I did not pay the retail price of the bags, but if you go by retail cost, this is the most expensive bag out of my entire collection that I got. And I'm really excited to see what it looks like in person because I've never seen it in person. Okay, but anyway, uh, Jose is wonderful, so you're, if, or if you're looking for something particular, or if you're in the area, go ahead and give Jose Miguel a call at that store, and yeah, the, it's in Rosemont, Illinois, and he gave me this little card, I'll read it to you, hopefully that's okay, Jose, because I'm going to read it, and it's just in a little thing like this, and that's the card there. I think it has, does it have their phone number and stuff? Yeah, it does, it has the phone number on there and everything too if you want to call and um, speak to him. He's wonderful. Maximo's the store manager there and then Jose is the SA who's helped me the past two times now uh, as well. But anyway, it says, um, Joshi, thank you so, so, so much for your wonderful words on your channel. Uh, you've been so amazing to work with and I feel so much closer to you and I hope to continue to connect with you for many 
more wonderful things. All the best, Jose Miguel. So that was really sweet. Thank you, Jose, I appreciate that. I do save all of these cards, because um, I save all my stuff <laughs> like that. Any kind of packaging and stuff like this, I don't know, I'm just really weird, I guess. I'm literally going to put this back in here, how it was, and keep it. It's like a memory, you know what I mean? So it's just a good memory for me, I like it. And it's positive and happy and wonderful and he's great. So definitely, I'm not gonna show my receipt, but I do, I'll keep everything just like this together. I like this, it's just organized. Okay, let's get into the bags. I'm rambling on, because I didn't really plan anything. I just, well, I never do plan my videos, really. I kind of just do them. You guys know that. If you guys have been watching me a while, all my stuff's random. Just random. I don't have a script or anything. But, okay, I don't even know which one to open up first. I don't even know. Okay, I think I know the order now. <laughs> it just took me, I'm gonna save the best one for last, okay? I'm gonna, okay, guess. Just like, in your mind right now as you're watching this, just guess what I got and think and see, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not making any sense. I'm just like rambling. Okay, so here's the first one in the dust bag, of course. Everything, like I said, it came in this massive giant box, so I had Hubby take everything out and put it down here in my studio so I didn't peep at it or anything. And um, yeah, so they were all in their dust bags and the one was actually in another box, but I had to take it out of that box. Too. I'm actually keeping that box because that's the box that it came in from the factory, I guess. So I will be keeping that. I know I'm weird, but I'm keeping it. And and then there was like a bunch of tissue and everything wrapped around everything. So they were secure. Even though the box is all smashed in like a total nightmare, the bags were secure. So, yeah. Here we go. I'm really excited to see. Do you know what color it is? Can you see it through there? Guess what color this is. Oh, wow. It's really, okay. It's really pretty. Good. Very good. Take a look. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is probably no surprise. So this is a, another Cure bag. And it's in this really cool, it's like, um, you know what? It's a little bit, from the photos, it actually looked a little bit more baby blue. But actually, you know what? I think on the camera right here, it's actually really good. It's picking up the color really good on camera. That's really accurate right there. It's like a um, like little boy's room blue. If that makes any sense. Does that make any sense? Is that ridiculous? Okay, well anyway, this is super cute. It's a small size. And yeah, I don't have this blue color. So I wanted it and I got it. And I paid more for it than I normally like do for my Cure bags. But I don't know. I just wanted that, so I got it. And I wanted it new, I didn't want to get a used one. You know, sometimes you just want brand new and fresh. So let's look it over. It looks good, it smells even better. Well, you know how much these smell delicious. Okay, let's open it up. I want to see what the interior looks like because I didn't even ask for that, for photos of it. I don't know what the interior color is or where it's even made because I didn't even ask. So let's open it up. And, okay, it's brown on the inside. So there's the inside, and he has it stuffed for me, of course, which he knows I love, so thank you, Jose, for stuffing it. Stuffing everything packaged there for me. I appreciate that very much. Okay, here we go. There's the inside, so your standard setup, it's just the brown, and let's see where this guy was made. <gasps> you guys, it's made in France. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Do you see it? Yes! Okay, it was worth the money then. Yes, made in France. Sweet! I wonder if that's because it's like a, um, is this like a seasonal color or like a limited color or what? I don't even know. But, yeah. It smells so good. Okay, I'm really happy that this is made in France. It makes it worth what I paid for it. <laughs> so I'm totally cool with it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, moving on, we're already at 10 minutes because I was blabbing for so freaking long. But yeah, it's made in France, I'm so excited. I think it's got the care block of it and stuff in there. I think that's it. I don't think there's any other tags or anything attached. 
But let me put, I'm gonna put this back inside actually. So we'll just, yeah. We'll just shove this back in here. Love it, love it, love it. Love this color. It's very pretty. It's very like, it's very spring, you know? You know what two colors look really good together? Right? Right? Sophie? Sophie? Do we like this? Do you see what I'm talking about? Okay, I have to like grab this and pull it up here. Okay, this, do we see this? Do we see that? Do we see what I'm talking about? I think so. I think, I think we need to do a red croco with a lambskin, a blue lambskin, and like merge these together. So, Sophie, I'm gonna need you to do that, please. This is the right spot. Is that better? I don't wanna, okay, anyway. Cuteness. I just love lambskin. I just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with it, okay. Moving on, next, 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 next. This is in this bag, in this big bag here. And this, I had him take pictures of the inside for me and everything too, of this one. I've never seen this one in person. Let me type this one up here. Um, let's see. Okay, hold on, let me figure this out. <laughs> you tied it tight. Jose knows I like it tight. Right, Jose? We keep it tight. This is so pretty. Okay, when I saw this, when he actually sent me this, um, thank, thank you, Jose, for sending me a picture of this because I love it. I actually, it reminds me of my one Gucci leather bag that I have, but it's a little bit bigger, and I actually like this one better than the Gucci one, and this was way less expensive than the Gucci one. And I like this better. And let's see how the leather compares. Okay, so it's in here sideways. I'm gonna flip it. Hold on, I'm gonna like take it out sideways because I think it looks funny. Let's, okay. Here we go. Okay, let's look at it. Let's look at this. Yeah, this is, it's bigger. It's bigger than my Gucci one, but for some reason it reminds me of it. I think it's because it's more of like a square north-south bag from the men's collection. It's about, I need to do like a comparison video between the two of them, between this one and the Gucci. I'm, yeah, I think I even, even in person right here, I think I like this one better. I need to see the inside though. So this is like, I wonder if this is, okay, so this is like pebbled, it's pebbled leather, and then I think, I'm guessing this is probably smooth calf leather on there too. So there's like the bottom. This is like the back. It's got the little horse thing there. And then the front here. I think this is a pocket. Yeah, it is. This is just a little pocket right there. So it's a little pocket. I like how it's pebble leather and then, yeah, the sides are like pebbled and then the bottom's like the smooth leather. And then it has the smooth leather stripes down here. And the handles are smooth leather too. And then they have like this reinforced you see? Okay, let's look at the inside. Take that out. And it's a deep, this is deep. I actually, I really like this. This has got a nice, yeah, I'm like digging this. I'm really digging this. It's just a simple black, but I don't have any long shot bags like this. Okay, let's look at the inside. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, there's lots of, oh, there's lots of zippers in here. Okay, I didn't even realize that from the, where's this made? This is made in France too, you guys. I didn't even ask and I got lucky. It's made in France. Jose, you're keeping it tight. I'm loving it. There's like multiple pockets. Okay, so, okay, this is actually the front. Can you see, hold on. Wait a minute. Can you see? See how there's like that long zipper right here and there's like a couple pockets? Let's open this up and look at it. What is this material, Jose, that this is made out of on the inside? Like, what is this material? That's a deep pocket. This is like a really deep pocket. Can you see that? It goes all the way down. 
Like all, it goes, look, my, my whole arm is in the bag. It goes all the way in there. That's really nice. And I like, I really like that. I like that it's the whole bag, basically. That's cool, okay. And then the other side, okay, so it's got these two pockets here. What is that material? It's like different, it's like weird. Is it like wipeable or something? And then the other side just has one slip pocket and it has a key keeper too, which I actually like this key keeper because it matches the hardware unlike Dooney and Burke. And I like that it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. I like that it hangs there. Can you see that? It doesn't touch the bottom, it's just hanging. I kind of like that better. Okay, let's open up the other zipper. And okay, here's the care book, but I'll read that in a moment. And the other zipper pocket's the same. It's really big. All the way down, so it's the same. I really like this bag. Yeah, I'm like digging this. I'm totally like digging this for sure. This is cool. I like this. This is a great work bag. It's kind of weird that it makes these noises though. Like the, I think it's like creaky. I don't know. It's like the leather rubbing. Okay, let's read. Yeah, this is a good bag. This is a great bag actually. It smells really good too. Yeah, it smells delish. Okay, let's read what the material is. I'm guessing it's all like calf leather. Calf leather or cowhide. Let's see what the thing says. It says Cour de Vachette. Oh, it says, it's, I guess it's all cowhide. Yeah, cowhide lined with textile. That's what it says. So, there is, that's what it's made out of. Huh, okay, so it's all cow leather, which is, I guess it's maybe a little bit more sturdy. The cowhide versus the calf. Maybe. I don't know, is there anything else in here? Cure Davis shit. Okay. Whatever that means. I'm gonna put this little thing in the little front pocket actually. Because I'm probably never gonna use that little front pocket. But I do like it because I can put the little care book in there. It's cute, right? Did I show you the bottom already? Okay. There we go. This is like a great all weather bag, I feel like, too. Like, I definitely, I'll be using this in the winter for sure. Because I feel like this leather will be fine in snow and rain and stuff. Jose, is this okay? In like the rain and stuff. This is like, it's like the metal, it's like the rubbing, I guess, I don't know. Probably just, it needs to be used, right? Okay, what are we at, 20 minutes almost? Because I'm blabbing so freaking much. So bag number two. And you guys. I'm excited about this one. Well, I was excited about all of them, but this one, can you see? Can you see it? Can you see it peeking through? I'm scared. Actually, not really. I'm just excited. Okay, this is the star of my, oh my god. This is the star of my collection. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm dying right now. I'm dying. I'm totally dying. Okay, this. Can you see it? Oh. My. God. Did you guys die? Look at this. Oh my gosh, I need like a moment. We need a moment. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. You guys, I'm dead. Did you guys die? Oh my god. This is so much more pretty in person than the pictures. I'm obsessed. You guys, I'm dying right now. Oh 
my gosh, and the luggage, this little thing is so cute. Oh my god. I can't, I just can't right now, okay. Let's get it together. Please. I saw this bag. This is the bag that took me a little while to figure out because it was very expensive. The retail on this is basically $2,000. It's a $2,000 bag at retail. And I mean, I got quite a bit off of that. But this is beautiful. Oh my God, I love like this. It's like kind of like, Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I'm sorry, I'm like being ridiculous right now. Oh my God, okay. So this is in the color, um, it's called Mimosa, and this is the Penelope Arty in M Mimosa. I think I'm saying that all correct, correct. The Art, I think it's a limited edition. It's like a limited edition, special edition or whatever. It's the Arty Penelope bag. This has got to be calf leather. This feels like calf leather. It's like a smooth calf leather. And then can you guys like see this? It's like suede. Can you see? Okay, it's like, this is like suede and leather. Like the, the design. I'm like dead right now. This is like, Jose, I can't even handle this right now. Now I want the red one. They're, they had a red one too. And I feel like I want the red one now. I'm obsessed. Okay, because they had this one, then the one that had like the red colorway, and then another one that had like the purple colorway. So if you guys are interested in this bag, um, as of the other day, they still had the other two available. So if you want this, then I suggest you call Jose tomorrow, right away. Be unless they're gone, but Oh my gosh. I just can't with this bag right now. This is so pretty. I love the handles too. Oops. They're like, they're thick. This is really nice. This is like, I'm obsessed. Okay, we need to get in the inside. I love this. This will not be used in the winter or in the rain. This will be used on a very nice day. <laughs> Like tomorrow, because this is the bag I'm using tomorrow. You guys be seeing this on Instagram and on my vlog of the day. Okay, let's open up the inside. It is a zip top closure, which I really do like. And you know what's really funny about this? If you guys know me, or have been watching me a while, you guys know I'm not like the hugest fan of tassels. Like I'm really not into tassels. But for some reason, on this bag, the way that the tassel is done on this bag, it doesn't like bother me. I don't know what it is about it. There's something about this particular tassel that I like. And that's really odd for me, because I don't like tassels, but I like this bag with the tassels. Okay, we need to get in the inside. I know this is made in France, because I had them, I asked them. So this one is made in France. The interior is black. It's got a nice, like, this is the zipper fall. I'm like obsessed with this right now. Okay, of course it's stuffed. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I just can't right now. I'm obsessed. This is a great size. And it has the, the little horse right there. Can you see it? You know what, it's got a sticker on it. I'm gonna take the sticker off. In this case, you know, I usually leave the sticker crap on my hardware, but this one's like overlapping, so it looks funny. So I'm taking, <laughs> I'm taking this off. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna set this down right there. Okay, there, now I can show you. Oops, sorry. I'm making it wiggle. And then here's the inside. So it's got a big zip pocket in the back all the way across. And there you go. And it has the care booklet. We'll look at that in a moment. Um, 
The maiden tag is back there. And it is made in France, because I already asked him about that. Yeah. Okay, and then... Sorry, I'm just like looking... Oh, this one has a key keeper too. It's just like the other one, except it's um, it matches the hardware on this bag, which it's, it's a gold. It's gold. With the leather. Okay. And then the other side has the two slip pockets in the back right there on either side. So there we go. This is like the size of a, yeah, this is like a Neverfull, like a Neverfull MM, I would say. These handles are a lot chunkier and I actually really like these handles. And you know what, is there not any glazing? Oh, there is a little bit of glazing on there, okay. Well, that's kind of different. So the one side, see how it's like stitched like that? And then the other side, it's um, got the glazing. That's kind of different how they did that. That's unique, okay. I just can't get over this bag right now. I'm like so obsessed and this is like so cute. Please, please. This is so pretty. I love this. Oh my gosh. It's probably about the same size as the this one here when the when it's opened. And I think can you like yeah, you can. Okay, so this can actually these tassels you can cinch it in and, and change the shape on it. That's nice too. I won't do that though because I actually like the look of it completely opened up. Um so I'm definitely leaving it just like this. I like how this looks just like this. And now I am a fan of the Penelope because I don't have any Penelopes, but now I have this one, the Arty. Okay, let's see what the what it's made out of. What does the what does the thing say? Okay, my rings are like all twisting everywhere. Okay, right, sorry. It says. Cure Dave Shet cowhide trimmed with lambskin. So cowhide trimmed with lambskin. As the resin doesn't say like lined in textile or something like they usually do. Interesting. Cowhide trimmed with lambskin. So I wonder what parts are cowhide and which parts are lambskin. I wonder. That's interesting. So what's the lambskin then? Cause this, this, this is, this is like suede on here. So I wonder, you know what, this, these have got to be lambskin. These pieces, I bet you are lambskin. Cause this feels like lambskin. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I like how these are like poofy. They're not flat, they're like poofy. Do you see what I mean? And you know what, it's picking up the color on camera really good. I don't know why the camera does reds weird for some reason. I don't know why the reds are always freaking weird, but the, this blue was correct and this looks perfect. This is, this is good. This is picking up the colors really nice. All right, I'm gonna move into this bag tonight as soon as I shut this camera off. Actually, I got to, I'll take pictures first and I gotta get this uploaded. Totally worth it. This is worth every penny. I love it. Love it. I'm so excited. Okay, you guys. That's it. I'm gonna shut up. And yeah. Okay, I need to sit down there. I love this bag. I love this. And it's not super heavy. Okay, I'm done talking. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> and yeah, I have I have so many videos for you guys. And then of course I have another unboxing on Friday that will be here. And I'll give you a clue. And it's from my video earlier, my live video. And the title it says Realness. So just keep that in mind. Realness. And we'll have a little chat. And we'll chat tomorrow too. I got some stuff to talk about. 
And um, yeah, I got videos about cleaning and care and stuff like that that I gotta do. And yeah, that's about it. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was really excited about it, as you can probably tell. What was your favorite bag out of all of them? Do you guys like this bag? Are you guys into it? Or do you think it's hideous? <laughs> Some of you might not like it, maybe you, might, maybe you do hate it, I don't know. But I think it's beautiful, I think it's gorgeous, and I like the fact that it's special edition, limited edition, whatever, and it's not just a basic black Penelope, like that, like everybody else has. I like the fact that it's got a little flavor to it, you know what I mean? So until next time, you guys have a wonderful night, and keep it tight.